Let's talk China stimulus. I know that's been a big topic recently and I think I've made a couple of videos the other days around my personal expectations and so see it also only as that. But I want to make a quick comment on recent market movement regarding stimulus. So when was it? October 29th, we had this statement coming out. Reuters sources, China's leading legislative body weighs approval of new fiscal stimulus exceeding 10 trillion yuan on November 8th. So I think everybody is aware of the fact that China has scheduled those meetings um, that will finally approve some fiscal stimulus. I said in the past that during the elections, after the elections, I expect China to react. And we also need a little bit um, wait and see uh, what the Fed is going to do, because basically it, it depends a little bit on what China is going to do, in my opinion. Uh, but I also said like this will be one of the first times that we really see more concrete, actionable um, you know, type of almost bazooka. I really hate this word, but type of uh, bazooka like stimulus numbers, uh, because, you know, in the past it was always all rate cuts and whatever, uh, new bond sales uh, and all of that. Um, people didn't really care about that. They wanted to have this large number and say, look, this is going to be consumer type of stimulus. Um, and I said, well, that's maybe not going to happen in the short run, but in the long run, we might going to get some. And now we have this number um, kind of, uh, you know, floating around. Uh, and it's interesting how the market reacted. Um, I don't know. This was when, for those of you who are watching the market really um, very in detail, in the morning, I noticed when this news com com came out, uh, Neo was up. I think up to 5% pre-market, but then the day ended with Neo down three, four, five percent or something. I'm, I'm not entirely um, sure about that, but it actually marked the turn in the current um, Neo uh, trajectory. So after that, it kept on selling off a little bit. So the interpretation here is that the market either doesn't um, really buy into that and says, well, we don't believe this number is real, um, although there has been some reaction in the market in the morning. It was not only Neo, it was also JD, but some of those, I think, more volatile, risky names that have uh, lots of uh, dependence on such news, in my opinion. Uh, but it wasn't every Chinese stock, uh, at least that's what I've observed. Um, and so that would be one interpretation. The market actually didn't like that news or didn't buy it in the end, right? The, the, the large bulk of players, when the when the market opened and there was big volume, um, the majority didn't see it as that. Or uh, there have been some comments in here uh, suggesting that this could be kind of a, a fake news, uh, a, a setup by Reuters, uh, that they don't believe that, that Reuters is putting out this number in order that China will look bad once stimulus coming out because it might be lower than this actual number. So what's my take here? Well, first of all, I think there have been other Chinese sources in the past speaking of uh, fiscal packages that have been more about 6 trillion RMB. So that's what I've seen uh, discussed from Chinese sources. There have been some single sources which spoke up to yeah, also 10, 12 trillion. Um, but this was more like from some you know, uh, observers and people who just commented on that on top. Uh, so the numbers have been quite range bound in, uh, between that. And so I was a little bit surprised to see also this 10 trillion number because we'll definitely settle on the high side. And uh, we've got to say in the past, uh, Reuters had some, some good leaks and stuff. Um, but what I also think is that China wouldn't leak anything um, if they didn't want it in in intentionally coming out. And I think they may have actually provided some insight here to Reuters and they, that some of the contacts which they're speaking to have been talking and suggesting a number um, in order to send a sign to the markets and say, look, guys, we are ready for Trump in case that there will be election win by Trump and there will be all this China bashing news and stuff, which, in my opinion, is a short sighted uh, wrong um, reaction by the market. But it's totally possible that this will be the case. Uh, I do think um, in the long run, uh, Trump would be fine for Chinese stocks, but uh, we'll see. Um, now, 
it could be because China is watching this election closely that they are, you know, kind of positioning themselves and giving a statement out there and saying, look, guys, no matter what you do, we're going to react to that and we have the power and we want to do that in a big way, possibly. Um, so that's my take. I think that these numbers um, may or may not come true in that regard, uh, but will definitely be uh, kind of leaked by the government on purpose in case they have been really leaked in, in this uh, situation. I think China will be most likely pragmatic and flexible overall when it comes to this number. I, I do expect we will get a number and I think they will depend it on what's happening with the Fed and the election outcome. So I think the number is maybe not set yet. Um, that's my opinion. And on top of that, what I think is the more important thing, because I always said, you know, I don't like this bazooka stimulus and this number thing and so on, uh, but it will come at some point. Uh, what I think is more important is that I do think the stimulus package is going to work in the end, because China has been consulted with um, consulting with people from BlackRock and, uh, you know, economists and whoever. I think they, you know, we are just armchair experts here and observers and commentators on that i think they possibly do know what they need to do but it may be just depending a little bit on what's going on in the world and um, i think ultimately what i like about the recent approach by china towards stimulus is that they do make structural changes we've seen a couple of changes for example when it comes to allocating more assets to the stock market we've seen changes for policies for more childbirth we've seen adjustments to the um, retirement age and so on and so the market mostly out there is still talking about like uh, oh this number will be not enough or you know china got structural problems and um, it will not gonna work no matter how high the number and so on um, there's always different takes and uh, they, you can think they can always try to spin it into something negative and we'll see how that's gonna go but i think that's why china is kind of playing with that a little bit here and leaking some numbers uh, and in the end they will be looking at it and decide rapidly and in the way they think is the right approach after what's going to happen and in my opinion, they are pulling the right triggers from what I'm seeing so far. So I'm expecting that it will be putting a, a bottom in some of the downturns that we see in real estate stock uh, prices. We will hopefully see an enforced shift into the stock market and buying uh, for a Chinese new type of wealth creation and a new type of uh, asset allocation. And uh, I also think they will uh, you know, find the right things that will help the consumer get rid of all of their savings because they have trillions in a bank account more than 20 trillion i think usd in um, um, and that is currently sitting there because the chinese need guidance on what's going to happen next and once they're confident again that will go into the economy it will go into the stock markets and so on and in my opinion a really important part is the fed unfortunately we ha i have to say also the beer case currently is that the Fed has been uh, you know, quite silent since the first rate cuts. Um, that, so that's why everybody is kind of unsure right now. You see that in dollar strength, you see that in um, rates spiking and um, we see some inflation data coming out in Germany, for example, or in the US the economics data with uh, the, the, the economy is still doing fine, employment fine and so on which currently makes the case for those people who say, oh, well, the, the, rate may, uh, the Fed may not continue to cut rates. And that may actually also impact China in how big the stimulus will be. So I think that's what's currently happening in the background. And we'll see what will be, will be the new um, um, realities once we get the election and the next Fed statements and then the response by China, which I think they are planning and here telegraphing a little bit. Thanks for watching.